Father, dear God, thank you for another day's journey. Thank you for us being here today, dear Lord. Please bless us and keep us. Lord, we pray that this lesson be useful and helpful for anybody that hears it or listens to it, dear Lord. Thank you, dear Lord. Touch our body one more time. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We're back. We're back again here at Unity NBC, Sacramento, California, and uh, doing our Wednesday afternoon Bible study. And we're glad to have you. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Tell us that you like what we're doing here. And all we're doing is telling us sin, curse, world, that Jesus is the only answer to this generation. For all time, he is the only answer. This afternoon, our Bible study is going to come from the book of John, the ninth chapter. Excuse me. John, the sixth chapter. Excuse me. John, the sixth chapter. But before we go to the lesson, the past few weeks, we've been talking about the names, some of the names of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We call him Sar Shalom. The Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. We call him Emmanuel. God is with us. We call him last week Philos, friend. And I want to say this because there's a lot of lonely people out there. And a lot, there's been a lot of lonely articles that have come up online. And a lot of people saying, I'm lonely. Find out who your best friend is, and his name is Jesus. Jesus is your best friend. When people turn their backs and people say they're lonely, when family members have passed away, turn to Jesus. He's the best friend that you got. Philos. So we talked about Emmanuel. We talked about Sar Shalom. And we talked about Philos' friend. So today we're going to go to another one of our names for our Lord, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Artos Zoe which means he's the bread of life. Hallelujah. John, the sixth chapter, beginning with verse 48. Most assuredly I say to you, verse 47, he who believes in me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate the manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven that one may eat it and not die. I am the living bread which comes down from heaven. If anyone who eats this bread, oh, hallelujah, our toast, Zoe, this bread, this living bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. So we want to talk about our toast, Zoe. We want to talk about Jesus, and he is the bread of life. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We live in a lot of time. I want to say something. You have a lot of false prophets out there these days. You don't need to read about those names of Jesus. You don't need to read from the Bible. You don't need to follow what the Bible says. Yes, you do. Zoe, Zoe, hallelujah. Arto Zoe, he is the bread of life. You need the word of God in you every day, every day that you are alive, every day that you can be alive and come alive in your life. Go to the word of God. Get away from people that say you don't need the Bible or that this is irrelevant. Uh, some of you say that's, that's a sign of a false prophet to say that God's word is irrelevant or you don't need to follow things that happened in Moses' times. You don't need to read about things that happened during the time of Zechariah. You don't need to read about things that happened in the Gospels. You don't need this, you don't need that. Then what is it that you need? Baby, you need the word of the true and the living God. Here it is. If you want to help people, give them the bread of life. Just give it to them. A lot of times, there's a lot of people now that say, I know some people don't get angry with me. Oh, I don't belong to no traditional church. I don't follow this. I don't follow. You don't got time to tell for that. Waste time with that. And I've said this before. <clears throat> people drive by our churches all the time. They don't know what's going on in there. They don't know the difference between traditional, non-traditional, uh, 
non-denominational, interdenominational, denominational. They don't know none of that. Give them the bread of life. Give them Jesus. He is the bread. Give it to them. They need to be saved. People don't seem to understand this. Our job is to help get folks saved. Not to confuse people more. Not to say, well, you don't need to follow this statement. No. Give them the word of God. Give them the bread of life. Give them God's word. People need to be saved. Get people saved. Pray that people get saved. Give them the word of God and pray that they get saved. Pray that the Holy Ghost come and let them. As Walter Martin used to say, opens the eyes <coughs> and ears of their soul that they be saved. That's the most important thing. Get the folks saved. Not all this other stuff. Get folks saved. Give them the word of God. Hallelujah. Verse Matthew, the fourth chapter, verse four. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Matthew 4.4, 4, another version of the Bible says, Yeshua answered, scripture says, a person cannot live on bread alone, but on every word that God speaks. What word? Every word. What word? Every word that God speaks. Who says that? Scripture says that. Yeshua says. Jesus says. Scripture says. A person cannot live on bread alone, but by every word that comes from the word mouth of God. Brothers and sisters, be careful of people leading, like leading you people leading people astray. You're going to answer to God for that one day. Give them the word of God. Tell them who the word bread of life is. Give them the bread of life. Don't give them gobble goop. Don't give them play on clay. Don't give them uh, syrup to drink. Don't give them a jelly uh, drink to drink. Give them the word of the true and the living God. I'm here today because of the word of the true and the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah today. Now we go back to our text, John the 6th chapter, 48 through 51. Our told say of, of, we're talking about the bread of life, but here it is. Actually, this text starts way back earlier. Let me give you an example. They said to you in verse 25, Rabbi, when you come here, Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, you seek me, not because you saw the signs, but because you ate the, the loaves that were filled do not labor for the food which perishes, but the food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, which the Son of Man will give you, because God the Father has set his seal on him. Hallelujah. Verse 29, Jesus answered and said to them, this is the work of God that you believe in him who he sent. But they doubted, and they said in verse 31, Our fathers ate the manna which is in the desert. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. But listen to what Jesus says. Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world, man. Verse 34, then he said to them, Lord, give us this bread always. Verse 35, Jesus said and answered them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. Verse 36, but I say to you that you have seen me, and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me, I will by no way, by no way, no way cast out. Verse 38, for I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but the will of him who sent me. This is the will of the Father who sent me, that of all he has given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up in the last day. Now put a pin there. 
because it says, raise up in the last day. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Who's the bread of life? I am the bread of life. Can witchcraft do that for you? No. Can the devil do that for you? No. Can tarot cards do that for you? No. Can Islam do that for you? No. Can the Mormons do that for you? No. Jesus is the bread of life. Find out who he is today. I'm begging you. Find out who the bread of life is. Now remember, he says that in the end of 39, it should be raised up in the last day. And he goes, and this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up in the last day. Then the Jews complained about him and said, I am, and, but he said, I am the bread which came down from heaven. And they said, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? Now is it? Then he says, I have come down from heaven. Jesus is trying to tell these hard-headed people, just like you have millions of hard-headed people today who do not want to believe our Tosoe, that he is the bread of life. He is the bread of life. Our Tosoe, he is my bread of life. And if you're saved, he's your bread of life. Jesus answered and said, and do not murmur amongst yourselves. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws him, and I will raise him up. Here it is again, at the last day. And it is written in the prophets, and they shall be taught by God. Therefore, everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Verse 46. Not that anyone has seen the Father except he who is from God has seen the Father. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who believes in me has everlasting life. Now we're, we're at the text. We're at the text. We're almost through. Jesus says again in verse 48, I am our Tosoe. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven that one may eat it or not die. Now, I'm just going to just put a pin in right before we leave. A lot of people don't know the importance of bread in our lives. Many of you younger people may not know this, but many years ago, when people would go to jail, they would give them a diet of bread and water. Why was that? Water kept them hydrated and was part of the sustainability of their life. Bread, the nutrients that were in the bread, we call it carbs today, but the bread kept the people alive. Hence, the carbs and the water kept people alive for years in jail and in prison. They were given a ration of bread and water. So when Jesus says, I am the bread of life, he is saying, just come unto who he is. He is the one that, that, is, that maintain our, our, excuse me, our sustainability. He is our all and our all. Our Tosoe, he is the bread of life. I am the living bread, verse 51, which came down from heaven. And if anyone eats this bread, he will live forever. And the bread I shall give is my flesh, which I shall give for the life of the world. Then Jesus, therefore, quarreled, the Jews quarreled amongst themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in him. Here goes one more time. And whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise him up in the last day. Brothers and sisters, are told so way. Jesus is the bread of life. Keep giving people the word of the true and the living God. People say it may be irrelevant. Some say it's quasi-relevant. Some say it's not up to date with what's going on in the world today. But if those people want salvation, they need to find out who the bread of life is. Zarto Zoe, Jesus Christ, son of the living God. They've got to know Romans 10, 9, that if you confess with your mouth 
the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Some versions say you shall be saved. Keep on believing in Artosoe, the bread of life. Keep believing in the bread of life. Keep eating from the bread of life. Offer that bread of life to other people that they'll find Jesus and be saved. That they'll find Jesus and be saved. Get saved today while you can.